So we're going to focus on two logical functions, count if and sum if, okay? So if you have little or no experience with the if function, um, it's pretty basic, uh, pretty logic uh, for the most part, pretty logical. Um, so we have a small spreadsheet here for March mileage expenses by employees. You can see all the uh, labels in row seven going across. We have a small table, you know, at the bottom. Um, so the first thing I'm going to have you do is go on to cell B26. So we're going to start there first. And I'll probably zoom in a little bit. Uh, just a little. Okay. That should be good. All right. So I'm on uh, B26. If you follow me, we're going to come up here. There's a little icon here known as insert function. If you look at column B, it's diagonal to it, right near the formula bar. Everybody see it? Insert function. So go ahead and activate that. A dialog box opens up. Insert function. The nice thing about this window, if you haven't really used it a whole lot, uh, if you don't remember the category that it's under, see all the categories are listed here, but you can't remember, that's fine. You could type a description right here. But if you go to logical, if you want to do it that way, they only list a few. See, there's no scroll bar. So look at this. Watch this. I'm going to come up here. Uh, type out. What do we do? A number of employees. So we'll do like count. And then I'll hit enter. Now, the count if function is the one we're actually going to use. Notice the syntax at the bottom of the window. So it has two arguments. Range plus the criteria. So it counts the numbers of cells within the range that meet what we call a condition. Okay, makes sense? Help is just a click away. If you ever need to activate help, you can always click on that. Uh, the window opens up. Sorry, another window opened up. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't want to do that. I must have accidentally clicked on something, but irregardless, there's some examples in here. So if you're trying to count, let's say, apples, peaches, you know, that kind of thing. If it equals apples, I want you to count that. This window can be maximized, which is nice. I'm going to close that out. So verify that you're using the same function as me. Count if. Click OK. All right. So here's the first argument, range. That's just the range of cells that have to be counted. Okay. Non-blank cells. They can't be null. So, basically, you should highlight the range B8 through B21, even though some of them don't say engineering. Criteria. This is where it's most powerful, most useful. Criteria would be cell A26. Simply put, engineering. I would click the cell. I wouldn't type the word engineering. Well, I'm speaking to myself. I wouldn't type it. What's your answer? Formula result says what, everybody? Five. That's right. And remember, we already determined that the answer was five, but it's good to do that beforehand anyway. All right, so easy does it. Click OK. Now, could I just copy this down to the adjacent cells? Let's see. Wiring minds with an L. Just drag it on down. Yeah. Now, it messed up my border, but that's okay. I'm not worried about a border. You know, I could always now, I could always uh, find out what border. That looks like it's a bottom border. I'd be careful though copying because remember this is this is a numerical value, and that isn't. But you could try it. Yeah, it worked. But then it gave me another border. See, you can't win for losing. But check this out. Watch what I did to this border thing. See that little triangle up there, to the borders button. Watch this. My favorite thing of all. Oh yeah. Erase border. Watch this. I'm going to clean this up. Out of there. <laughs> Simplest thing. Erase border. I like to find a tool called erase bills. <laughs> Make them all go away. <laughs> anyway, there goes that. Just do yourself a favor. If you ever have to use draw border, and I'm, and I'm being comical now when I say this, but if you ever use the draw border, Oh, believe me, you're going to draw borders until you turn red or blue in the face. And then you got to remember, okay, erase the borders. 
Oops, not that far. Isn't that cool? It won't erase anything but borders. That's its goal. Whoops, I almost erased those. Ah, the board art is in my way. Gotta be careful when I'm driving in this program. Watch out for Patty. She's driving. Yeah, don't forget to turn tools off, like erase or draw border. Because that it'll remind you real quick, live on your screen. And everything is red. I still do it sometimes. I gotta remind myself. So how did everybody do with that? Pretty good? All right, why don't we try this one? Total mileage amount for each department. Now, we already know the first one's going to be 904. Oh, what was it? 904 something. 89. See, I forgot the point. No, it is 89. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this, 98. <laughs> That's the average. All right, sorry for my outburst. Um, C26. C26. So we're going to come back up here to the insert function, just so you start using this a little more often. So I'm gonna type sum if, because I know that's the one I wanna use. I like the dialog boxes sometimes, especially if you nest functions, it helps you stay on top of your game, rather than just wing it and just, you know, type it from scratch. So it's called sum if, everybody okay so far? <clears throat> well, I didn't go that rail, I just, typed it up here where it says uh, search for a function and it just says recommend it after you click go and again if you try logical it's very limited you can't even find it there so you're better off using you know recommended or most recent uh, after you type it or whatever you got to do so again it's some if I'm going to click OK Interesting. This has three arguments. Now, why do you think range and criteria are thicker and bolder than some range? Why is that? Anybody know the reason behind that? Well, basically, some range is not bold because it's not required. Like, you can leave it blank. You'll, you'll see that a lot in the V and H lookup functions, too. Like, the last argument range, it's, it's not bolded. You can omit it. You can just leave it blank. But if you do that, though, it assumes true. So, okay, let's see. What is our range? All right. So we're doing total mileage amount, right? So the range would be, I'm sorry, what was the range again? Okay. So we're going to highlight DA through D21. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I heard the word amount. So let's go back in to the range again. So the range would be? Correct. Criteria per department, it would be? You could just use A26. Right? Now, sum range are the actual cells that you want to sum. If omitted, the cells in the range are used instead. Now think about this for a minute. Do we really want to use the mileage or do we want to use the amount? Some range is the amount, but the, the, uh, right. Range is the right? Yeah, let's let's look at this closely. The range we had initially selected was C8 through C21, right? That was the uh, miles traveled. So should I delete that and use, okay? Right. Nothing's going to read engineering over the miles traveled. Perfect. That's right. That's good. So the range is B8 through B21. And it makes sense if you're basing this off of departments. Criteria, we're limited to engineering, then finance, graphics, and so on. Now, what is my sum range? If we're talking about amounts claimed, it would have to be this, right? Yeah, we can't use B8 again. So 90489. Ding a ling a ling. That's it. The sum range is column D, right here, D8 through D21. So that would be your argument. So your answer is 90489, right? Anybody else? Everybody good? And you can see in my formula bar up here, I still haven't clicked OK yet. So there it is. And then hit OK. 
And then you can copy that down if you want. And if you want to fix the border, be my guest. Now I got to draw another border. Uh, let's see, line color. What is that? It's like a dark blue, I guess. Draw border, draw border. It's not that thin, though. Line thickness. All right, it's not too bad. I'm not really worried about borders in this class. That's really the least of our worries. Um, just don't forget to turn those things off. All right, so I'm going to save my document. Any questions on those uh, two functions? Count if and sum if. Remember, it's a logical function, so it knows logically only to count what you specified to count. It doesn't just assume count everything in the column, right? Or sum everything in that column. So that's why criteria plays a major role in these two functions. So just to uh, visually review, I'm going to bring it back up on the screen. This was the first one we did. Count if it has the range and the criteria arguments, right? It has those two. And then for this one, equals sum if it has the three arguments because not only is it going to sum the range but it's only going to know to sum based on the criteria criteria is like huge that without that these functions wouldn't function too well right and then range is looking at the range of departments okay and that's how it knows to get that total because you said sum the column D range, rows 8 through 21. Okay?